Welcome to another video. This problem is from the 2021 Harvard MIT math tournament and this was in the general section. So whenever there's a problem in the general section it is more likely to be easy to attain and that's the case with this one because all they want us to do is to find the value of a squared plus b squared given that 8a to the a b to the b equals 27 a to the b b to the a for a and b being positive integers it's a relatively easy one you just have to see what to do right from the beginning let's get into the video So with a problem like this dealing with positive integers, your number of options are very minimal because all numbers must behave positively and they must be integers. So what I would say is I already see that I can form a fraction or at least a rational expression because I have 8 and I have 27. And you having exponential expressions with 8 and 27 shows you that you're going to be dealing with numbers like 2 and 3 because 8 is 2 to the 3rd and this is 3 to the 3rd also. Okay, so but one thing we can tell is this. Let me show you what I think. I think that since we know that they are positive integers, so there are no zeros involved in this expression and there are no negative numbers so I'm not afraid of dividing by anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 8 divided by 27. So look, I'm going to divide both sides by, by 27. So I have 8 over 27 must be equal to, then I'm going to divide both sides by a to the a, b to the b, which is going to be a to the b, b to the a, over there's going to be a to the a b to the b okay so this makes life easy because now i can say that 8 over 27 will be equal to if i take care of this alone this is going to be a to the b minus a and this is going to be multiplying this is going to be b raised to power a minus B, applying the laws of exponents. Okay. Now I know from my laws of exponents that if I can make these two look similar, then I can put the two of them together. You know? So, but this is B minus A, this is A minus B. Let's stick to A minus B, okay? and rewrite this b minus a as minus a minus b. So we can say this is equal to a to the minus a minus b. Okay, times b to the a minus b. So now, since this has a negative and the two exponents are the same, you can see, we can say this is the same thing as this is going down. This is going to be 1 over a to the a minus b times b to the a minus b. Nice. Okay. So, which means this fraction we have here, 8 over 27, can be written as 8 over 27 is basically equal to b over oh it's just that it is b over a minus b divided by a over a minus b which can be written as b over a raised to a minus b that's it so from here I can start making claims. Look at this. Case one. I can say that this is 8 over 27 raised to power 1 will be equal to b over a raised to power a 
minus b. This will correspond, because we're dealing with just integers, that b over a must be 8 over 27, and a minus b must be equal to 1. Okay? So the implication of this claim is that b over a equals 8 over 27, and a minus b is equal to 1. Is it possible? I don't think it's possible, but we never know. Let's try it. So we have, we have claimed that the two, this, these two are the same, and these two are the same. Can we have a solution to this? Let's make it case one. This means that eight equals, let's write A in terms of B, or write B in terms of A, let's write A in terms of B. If you write A in terms of B, um, this is the same thing as saying that A equals 27B over A. And if we put that here, we're gonna have um, 27B over eight rather, over eight. 27b over 8 minus b. Well, instead of writing b, I can write 8b over 8 equals 1. Is this a true statement? Well, let's see. So this tells us that 19b over 8 equals 1. Ah, it's not going to work. So we have 19b over 8 equals 1, which means that b is 8 over 19. Well, this is a possible solution, but it does not fit here. Remember that both of them must be integers. So this case fails. This is not true. So the second other case we could have is if we can write this as an exponent, where the exponent is an integer. Well, the only possible exponent that you can write these two are as would be 2 over 3, both of them raised to power 3. So case 2, case 2 is to say that 2 over 3 is raised to power 3. That's what 8 over 27 is, okay, equals b over a raised to power a minus b. And what that would mean is that 2 over 3 equals b over a, and um, a minus b equals 3. So let's see what this will actually mean. It means a will be equal to 3b over 2 a equals 3b over 2. So let's substitute it here. 3b over 2 minus b. Instead of writing b, I'm going to write 2b over 2 minus 2b over 2 equals 3. What does that mean? It means b over 2 equals 3, which means that b equals 6. Okay, that looks like a reasonable solution because it fits in this. It is a positive integer. That would mean that a must be equal to 3 times 6 divided by 2. 3 times 6 is 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9. So a equals 9 and b equals 6. So we found a set of solutions a equals 9, B equals 6. Now, is there another case? I want to see if, because with this we already found our answer, we can just say A squared plus B squared must be um, 9 squared plus 6 squared, which is going to give us, 9 squared is 81, 6 squared is 36. 81 plus 36, while well, the number ends in 17. 117 would be our answer. Yeah, but... Let's see if, is there another way we can write 8 over 27? So let's say we change this to 4 and change this to 9. What would be the exponent? If 
we change this to 4, the exponent is going to be a fraction. So that's going to be a problem. So let's say there is a case 3. And we write this as 4 over 9 raised, because they have to have the, a common exponent. Okay, the common exponent we can have here would be um, 3 over 2. This is going to be 3 over 2. Yes, it's going to be the square root of 4 raised to power 3. That's 8. The square root of 9 raised to power 3, that's 27. So, and that would be equal to b over a divided by, I mean, raised to power a minus b. The reason why this cannot work is, although we can say b equals 4 and 9 equals a, uh, a minus b equals 3 over 2 is not valid because if a is an integer and b is an integer, the difference between two integers cannot be a fraction. So this is not an invalid, is not a valid expression. Therefore, we got to give up and say these are the only two solutions and say, we say this is invalid. Okay? So therefore, a squared plus b squared equals 9 squared plus 6 squared, which is equal to 117. This is a solution to this. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.